welcome back guys this is question 2.88 and the statement it has is before the distribution of a certain statistical software every fourth compact disk is tested for accuracy okay so every fourth cd has to be tested before the distribution uh, so therefore let me write here the given data so okay. so the probability of testing is what that is one every four of them has to be tested so the probability of a test is one over four and this is 0.25 okay uh, the testing process consists of running four independent programs and checking the results okay so therefore therefore we have uh, four tests so the failure rates for the four testing programs are respectively 0.01 0 0.03 0.02 and 0 0.01 okay so let me write them as probability of failure in test 1 test 2 test 3 and test 4 and let me write here probability of failure in test 1 is f1 and that is what that is 0 0.01 probability of failure in test 2 is 0 0.03 probability of failure in test 3 is 0 0.02 and probability of failure in test 4 is how much that is 0 0.01 so on the basis of it we can also find out the probability of the success in test one and that would be what that would be probability of the success in test one and that would be one minus 0 0.01 so it would be 0 0.99 okay similarly probability of success in test 2 that is 0 0.97 probability of success in test 3 is 1 minus 0 0.02 which is 0 0.98 okay and similarly probability of success in test 4 is 1 minus 0 0.01 which is 0 0.99 okay so these are the computed ones on the basis of all this data what do we have to find out we have to find out that what is the probability that a cd was tested and failed any test okay so uh, let me solve this question so this is the solution and in solving part a of our question what do we have to find out we have to find out that the probability that cd was tested and failed any test okay so probability of a failure of any test is equal to 1 minus probability of success in all tests okay so it has to be successful in all tests if it is not so the complement of it has to be calculated by subtracting it from 1 so this would be the solution of part a as we can very clearly see here that all the program tests are independent of each other so therefore it would be one minus probability of the success of all so it would be probability of s1 and s2 and s3 and s4 okay which would be one minus probability of the success in s1 multiplied by the probability of the success in s2 multiplied by the probability of success in s3 and multiplying it with the probability of success in s4 okay so let me write their values and let me start it here so it would be probability of a failure would be 1 minus probability of success in s1 is given and that is 0 0.99 multiplied by probability of success of s2 that is 0 0.97 into 0 0.98 which is 0 probability of success in test 3 and 0 0.99 okay. 
so let me calculate it and what would i get here here i will get 1 minus 0 0.93 so ultimately i will get 1 minus 0 0.93 is 0 0.07 so the probability of a failure in any one of the test is 0 0.07 which is the 7 percent okay so that is the calculated one which we have done and this is the solution of part a now in order to find the solution of uh, part b let me first remove it so in part b we have to find that given that a cd was tested what is the probability that it failed program two or three so this is part b and we have to find the probability that it has failed of program two or program three so it would be the one minus probability of this success in test two and test 3 okay so here we can again see that these are two independent ones so therefore it would be 1 minus probability of the success in s2 multiplied by probability of success in test 3 so these are these two are also given here and these would be 1 minus 0 0.97 multiplied by probability of s3 that is 0 0.98 okay so now multiplying them together and then subtracting it from one what would i get i would get here 0 0.049 okay so this is what this is the probability that a program will fail s2 or test 3 and this is the solution of what this is the solution of part b okay so now let me remove it and proceed to the part c and the statement it has a in a sample of 100 how many cds would you expect to be rejected okay so we have a total number of samples equal to 100 and a sample or cd would be rejected if it will fail any one of the tests which are uh, test 1, test 2, test 3 and test 4. So the probability of failing any test is 0 0.07 and the total number of tests here are 100. So therefore the probability of the failure in any of these tests is 0 0.07. So multiplying them what would I get here I will get 7. So out of 100, there is a chance that 7 CDs would be rejected, okay. So this is the solution of part C and now towards part D, given that a CD was defective, what is the probability that it was tested, okay. So initially we have seen that every fourth compact disk or CD has to be tested. So therefore I have told you that the probability of test is that one out of every fourth cd would have to be tested so therefore there is a 0 0.25 chance that it would be tested okay so this is what if a cd is defective it has it will be tested okay so that is what that is the solution of part d which is also 0 0.25 so this is what this is the solution of question 2.88 in which we have seen different parts of it which are related to the independence of the events okay so if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon